This week's Living Green with News Channel 18 segment, we make sense of a phrase you may have heard if you're an employee and one you need to become aware of if you're a business owner. Clear Blue Green, the title gets thrown around quite a bit. You may have heard of it, but what does it mean? We decided to help make sense of it all. First off, Clear Blue Green is a checklist of sorts broken down into seven categories. The more checks, the better. Tom Andrew is on the Clear Blue Green Committee. He stopped by our station to show us things we could do to help us help the environment and also achieve Clear Blue Green status. He says the majority of the certification steps are pretty easy. Turning off the light when you leave a room, turning off the TV when no one's watching it. Conserving work environment water is pretty simple too. Things like regular maintenance on your faucets if you've got leaky pipes, check them once a week, set an office policy where you check them and go to faucets, make sure they're not leaking, maybe replace some O-rings, things like that, look for running toilets, really no brain busters, it's easy. Same story for appliances. If you're not using them, turn them off. Andrew says companies lose a lot of money managing their fleets. He says keeping your cars up and running is one way to save the environment and financial headaches. Running smaller cars, like you guys have some Kias and a Focus, that's good. Preventative maintenance to make sure there's no oil leaks or it's not burning a lot of gas for no reason, so you're getting the most efficient mileage as you can. Andrew says clear blue green benefits are twofold. They not only help the environment, they also help keep your company in the black. It does start to add to the bottom line, not a huge dollar amount, but it'll cover your $25. And it's not it's not huge savings, but it, in the long run, if you keep on doing it, keep on doing it, these good ideas do pick up, add up, and it, it'll add to your bottom line. 